power. So what about patients that you've seen, especially, have you seen heart issues? Obviously, you're a cardiologist. Yeah, I just saw one last week, a student up here in uh, Denton, who uh, he took the vaccine. It's very ill-advised. Now, keep in mind, anybody under age, fi age 50, there's a less than a 1% chance anything bad's going to come out. Why would you take the vaccine? Here he is, you know, in his uh, late 20s, he takes the vaccine, heart inflammation, so the EKG changes, sky-high troponin, which is the test we measure for heart damage. Now the echocardiogram shows his heart functions down, and now oh. he's on heart failure medicines. It's completely Terrible. unnecessary. Even the FDA has safety warnings against Pfizer Moderna for causing myocarditis up to age 30. I'm sure it extends beyond that. And then there's a warning on Johnson & Johnson for blood clots in women ages 18 to 48. So you can't win with either one. And my advice to America now has been for a while is just say no to this, especially young people not at risk. Pfizer, on May 27th, published in the New England Journal of Medicine the data on children ages 12 to 15, prospective randomized trial, 2,300 kids, vaccinated, two to one randomization. The vaccine prevented 18 cases of the sniffles. That's it. I mean, just a little runny nose. That's all it did. 60 to 80 percent of the kids developed sky high fever, sometimes at 40 degrees. They had 20 to 30 percent of them were out of school. Muscle aches, body aches all over. God knows how many had influenced their heart. It was a bust. And you know what the you know what the conclusion was? Vaccinate the kids. Uh, do you know the FDA had approved? the vaccine before the data even came out. They approved it on May 10th before the safety data was out on May 27th. So that's an act of regulatory malfeasance. Something is really off the wall here, and there is an unbelievable train of aim on the children for no reason. Our whole future, our children.